the conclusion I've reached is that I did cheat if I was in school, but I'm not trying to be a um, person that paints people at the mall. Um, which this is actually a real, I, I, I kind of like it a lot more than I realized. Um, I'm trying to be Rembrandt, and so I'm trying, and I'm trying to do it in a short amount of time. Uh, and I do realize you got to draw circles and stuff to draw regular faces, kind of like with horses, you got to draw circles. Anyways, I need to stop talking about drawing. Um, but oh man, I'm working on some crazy art that's going to take me like my entire life to paint because I'm so slow at painting. Anyways, so. What I'm actually going to talk about is the food supply chain because I know everyone wants to go raid the grocery store because they're going, all right, if the number one pork producer in the United States is out, um, that means there's going to be more demand for the other types of meat. And um, everyone's going, I need to buy grocery store stock. And I'm thinking, okay, what is the number one thing that affects a grocery store? Um, how much they're paying their employees because they have massive amounts of overhead because they have so many employees. Think about it. But it's also about the overhead for for owning these goods. But um, everyone's kind of at the negotiating table uh, as far as uh, supplying stuff right now because um, they're going, well, I've got to do this. And so, all right, so anyways, are grocery store stocks really the best stocks? Maybe, yeah, in the... Sh but if, if the stock is meant to be long-term, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are going to spoil, end up with spoiled food or food they never eat. That's the thing. Um, how long do you really want to have hamburger in the freezer? I don't know. I, I, I haven't stockpiled meat at all. Um, that's why I wanted a gun, but I feel like I'm going to trust the government's going to work things out and that... If, and if I, if I have to, I'll eat vegetarian for a little bit. Anyways, so... Is there anything we can do about that? Um, I feel like if a plant has to get shut down in the short term, a plant has to get shut down. And in Colorado, we just had two people die at a meat processing plant. And in, um, I think it's Nebraska, they're shutting down meat processing plants. But... At the same time, the farmers are getting paid less right now because the grocery stores have to pay their workers more and the grocery store workers need to get paid more. Let's face it, if there's anything we know is that. So that's the thing about the complexities of profit um, because once I already got my Lysol disinfectant, which I still haven't used the one I had before. I couldn't get Lysol disinfected. I still haven't used it. I, it's, it's, I, I've had it in my house. Never. I, I, I use it sometimes, but um, I couldn't. I was going to go buy more. Couldn't buy it. Turns out I, I, I didn't need it because I still haven't gone through my own. But I feel like I could still have another one around. But at some point you realize you have too much. Kind of like paintbrushes. I have too many paintbrushes. Maybe. But now that I want to paint big things, I need more paintbrushes. Anyways, um, so yeah, um, that's my take on the food supply chain.